So, um, as you can see, there are the JBS engines along with Thomas. Um, but we're not gonna review them for this video. The one we're going to review is... Bell! So, um, Bell is a character that was introduced in 2011 in the special day of the diesels. And her Tekken Play was released in 2011 as well. Um, she is based on a British Railway um, standard design um, for MT. And unlike her real life counterpart, um, the real locomotive doesn't have water cannons installed in the tanks. As you can see, there's her number and her water cannons and her so there's search and rescue uh, insignia or logo and she has um, the red and yellow striping as well so as you can see um, Bell has a really accurate um, wheel arrangement like her real life counterpart she, she is a um, 264 engine she is one of the longest taken play model. I think she is the one. Unlike the other engines like Handy or Gordon, which um, loses one of their wheels in the front or in the back. And also she is really made out of metal. He is heavy. Now at the underside, as you can see, there's something special with her. The four front parts here are static and the two wheels here in the back are rotatable. They are movable. There is her back details which has details like her tail lamp. And there is her other side which is safe. And her face. Um, Guys, there is a special fact. Um, I do have the uh, the collectible railway um, bell. So when this one arrived some time ago, um, I swapped their faces. And as you can see here, there's her collectible railway model. The face that was before here is not transferred here. Um, this is her original face. So um, as you can see. Um, there's her face. Um, which do you like? This one of the original? Or the ones now from the collectible railway model? Or as you can say the adventures one as well. Compared to her um, adventures slash collectible railway model, um, they did really cheapen her up. As you can see, um, the collectible railway or adventures one is really small and squished in size. Unlike her before, which she was bigger and more accurate and there's a little bit of color difference because the the one that I got first here aged already well I think I got her in 2014 and this one recently I think and you can see the difference the water cannon is now um, just molded in unlike here in the Tekken play where her cannons are real and you can see them and you can um, touch them and like here they are painted and molded in her body and there are both comparisons of the sides um, as you can see the one on the left on your is the, um, the first one I got I painted the wheels to match her in the show and the second one doesn't have the red rose because that's the stock uh, from the factory. They're, they are not really painted for in red. Overall, I think she's a really great take and play model. And she got redesigned sometime in 2012 with a more accurate CGI face like this one here. I think it is similar to them. And she has an updated body with the new um, style wheel. With the hole in the middle like a hot wheel styled wheel and yeah 
So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And see you on the next video. Goodbye!